Shalom, 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 Shalom. This is your brother David Dow from GMS Tampa Bay 07. Coming at you with this here truth again. First and foremost, I want to give all praise unto Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, Bahashem, Rakakodash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of the great millstone that taught me this truth and that rule well. The citation of much love for Yahweh and pushing this truth and sincerity in the four corners of the earth and enduring afflictions. Here we go again with, you know, another piece of the puzzle of, you know, these prophecies coming to pass. All right. And this one here is from RTS is homeless people giving barcodes so they can accept online payments. All right. So, uh, you know, hey, man, the damn devil, man, this guy, this guy here, man, we're going to just get into the story. It says in an attempt to adapt to to the cashless society, they now face some homeless people. They now face some homeless people and have been wearing barcodes around their necks. So Pastor Boz can give them money by using their smartphones in Oxford University back scheme. <clears throat> you know, and, and, and the simple minds of these damn, you know, homeless people, hey, we can get some money this way if we get this new technology. You know, people always say they, ain't, they don't carry cash. Well, we get this new free technology. Now we can get some money, you know, the simple, the simple ones, you know, and it's dealing with the RFID chip, the mark of the beast, you know. <clears throat> And so if that's as simple as that, you know, they, they can go ahead, they, you know, that's, that's showing you how simple and easy it is for these people to be getting this chip. All right. But it says, um, you know, but also showing. It's also showing how they setting up the uh, system for them to not be able to buy or sell, save he to have the mark, but also causing all both rich and poor. All right. So it says. Um, in an attempt to adapt to cash society, they now face some homeless people. Uh, they now face some homeless people have been wearing barcodes around their necks so Pastor Byers can give them money by using smartphones in an Oxford University back scheme. It says Greater Change, a social innovation innovation project being trialed in Oxford has issued homeless people with a QR code. Members of the public who will who want to give them money will have no charge, no change. But have no change can use their smartphones to scan the code before compliant completing an online payment. It says um, the donation is deposited into an account controlled by one of the project workers who then ensures that the money is spent on beneficial targets that can include a deposit for rent. All right. And that's exactly them showing you the market to be system in play. All right. They control the account. They monitor the account. And if you out there buying whatever you want to buy, some drugs and alcohol, then they basically just shut you off. They want you to buy what they want you to buy. All right. And that's just on a surface level. You'd be like, well, if the government going to be giving them this, they shouldn't be having drugs. Well, you with first of all, fuck what the government got going on. They shouldn't be having the drugs to begin with. But however, this is what it's going to be like in that system. They're going to be constantly monitoring you with, you know, with all that you do. If they feel like you shouldn't be buying this car, or that car, because you want it like it, this house, that outfit, this food, you know what I'm saying? They're making this purchase, that purchase, they can go ahead and just stop you on that. All right. They're going to be in complete, total control, making all your um, decisions for you. All right. It says um, the project has been supported by Oxford University in, in, Innovation and Oxford said business and Oxford said business school. Speaking to the BBC, Alex McCollin, founded the Greater Change, said the problem we're trying to solve. We're trying to solve here is that we live in an increasingly cashless society, as well as people who when people give they worry about what this money might be spent on. All right. So really, we, we not in no time for um, so-called running out of money. And, you know, everybody just going cashless. But nevertheless, so, so the solution we come up with is given. Uh, come up with is a given mechanism through your smartphone with, with restrictive funds. All right. So they basically, you know, limiting your shit. You know, they basically rolling out this this market of beast system as we speak right now, you know. And how things is going to be rolling in that system. How they can dictate who going to win and who going to lose and who going to have and who who not going to have. As well as allowing you to donate money upon scanning the barcode, you can see a profile of a homeless person, which, which informs about their circumstances, how they started living on the streets in their previous professions. All right. So they're going to just, if the homeless person wanted you to know all that, he would tell you that on his own. But see, Esau's like, no, nah, you're going to. You know, if you want to get money, you scan his barcode and it's going to tell you everything about him. All right. That's that market of beast system. It says Neil Kyle, MP Labor, the Labor co-chair of all party parliamentary group on ending homelessness, told the Telegraph necessity has become the mother of invention. 
And now there is an app to try to help generate more public donations to homeless people. This inter uh, says this intervention should not be necessary, but with a German, a with the government ignoring the scale of the problem, any extra donations may help homeless homeless people directly. The number of people sleeping sleeping rough in England has increased has recently hit a record high with 73 percent increase. All right. And, you know, these are those curses falling upon Esau. All right. These Edomites is, is bugging out. They, you know, they just on the streets nowadays. All right. It says um, official government data, data showed that any given night in autumn last year, some 4,700 people were sleeping rough. Uh, were sleeping rough over a double that was recorded in 2010. However, however, crises a national charity dedicated to homeless people. Stated that the real number was a lot higher, stating that stating their own research of more than eight thousand people currently sleeping in England. All right, you know Esau is, is deceitful with his his little uh, tactics and his little pride. If it ain't in his favor, he don't want it. All right, it says following the data research, the spokesman minister minister of housing communities and government stated no one should ever have to leave rough. This is why government is committed to having rough sleep. In 2020, eliminating it all together. So basically, they trying to implement this here system, all right? And they're going through the poor first. They're going through the, 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 the most, uh, how do you say, uh, the so the, the, the so-called softest. They don't have their guards up. They just, they hungry, you know? You can play on their weakness. Let me jump into the scripture real quick, and then we're going to go ahead and close this one here out. This is Revelation chapter 13, verse 16. It says, He causeth all, okay, both small and great, all right? Small would be somebody, you know, a regular day, everyday person walking around. Nobody don't really know who he is. He's just there, you know? <clears throat> small and great. Great would be like uh, your Donald Trumps so or the people that you well know, all right? Rich and poor, all right? And as we talking about in that, the article, you know, they're talking about focusing on the homeless people, free and bond to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads. All right, and, but because they don't know they ain't in this truth, they ain't gonna understand. They're like, well, fuck it, we'll take this shit if it's, you know, if you tracking us, <clears throat> giving us a bank account, shit, we'll do it, no problem. It says, and that no man might buy or save, save he that have the mark and the name, or the name of the beast, or the number of his name. And and yeah, so they trying to have it so you ain't gonna be able to buy or sell or trade, or do nothing if you don't have this this here uh, chip. You know, they trying to push into a, a cashless society. All right. Um, and it says, here's wisdom. Let him that have understanding count the number of the beast, for it is the number of man, and his number is six, six hundred three score and six. All right, that's that six, six, six. But nevertheless, as we all know, Esau has this agenda, this plan. He's planning on microchipping the whole damn planet Earth and reign as God and know all your thoughts, your memories, all these different things. All right, and, and he's starting small on smaller scales with with. Uh, with, with, with predictive programming, AI, and algorithms, and things like that, you know, your, your, your uh, typing responses, things like that, but he's trying to have a complete grip over your mind, body, and soul, you know, be your God, know everything, all right, just like the most high, he's just trying to do that to everybody else, you know, but um, but that, I'm going to go ahead and close out saying, Lord, when this here lesson was edifying, until next time, I say, Ka Hala Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, Bahashem, Rakaq Kodash, double honors to the apostles and the elders of the great mill, so they taught me the truth and that rule well, a salutation and much love for you, Aki, and pushing his truth is asserted in the four corners of the earth and enduring afflictions. Stay strong. Shalom.